This animation is about systems thinking and what it means for our work. We hope it encourages you to look deeper into the accompanying guide. Traditionally, we have been encouraged to solve problems by focusing on and developing solutions to individual parts of a problem. A log frame or a theory of change, for instance, encourages us to map out a tidy sequence of change that will solve developmental problems. But reality is rarely as simple as that. To illustrate this, consider the old saying, if you teach a man to fish, you can feed him forever. First of all, it's just as likely that that man is a woman, of course. Many factors may mean that the simple activity of training someone to fish will not be enough to give them a livelihood. Climate change could be affecting the availability of fish. Pollution from urban areas could be killing the fish. Rich elites could be using illegal nets leading to overfishing. A lack of control over household income could limit the benefit obtained by women fishers. Irrigation for agricultural development could threaten water resources. On the other hand, many factors could open up new opportunities. A company may open up a new fish processing plant. Demand for fish may grow from expanding urban areas. The reality for the fishermen or fisherwomen is that their livelihood is determined by how well they can manage these challenges and opportunities, which may change every year. When you examine any of these issues separately, you will see that they themselves are made up of an interaction of many different factors. Consider pollution. There are obvious causes, but underneath these, there could be another set of causative factors. And there could be conditions that help this to happen. Now consider how uneven power develops. Pollution may perpetuate poverty in a number of ways, and in doing so, it may contribute to diminishing the influence and power that people have, going full circle and further reinforcing the problem of pollution. You can unpack any of the problems facing the fishermen in the same way, and you will find a similar complex web of stakeholders and issues that interact with each other. These factors and the way they relate to each other is a system. As you can see, systems can get quite complicated. In the case of the fisher women, for instance, what issue would make the biggest difference? Is it improving household decision making? Is it curbing pollution? Is it improving the capacity of women? Or should the target be reducing women's time poverty? Or improving government policy? or addressing climate change. Things definitely seemed simpler and more certain when we just trained fishermen. But without an understanding of the bigger picture, it is easier for us to make mistakes. It's easier for us to develop interventions that have no impact. And it's easier for us to set off a chain of events that actually has a negative impact. But there are strategies we can adopt that enable us to design effective programs even in the face of such complex systems. First of all, we should make an effort to understand the systems we are dealing with. This will not give total certainty, but it will give us ideas about how to start and it will reduce the chances of unintended consequences. Starting small scale is important. Developing a range of interventions that allows us to test theories about what will happen when we intervene helps us deal with uncertainty. Many of our interventions will fail, but that helps us understand how the system works and increases our ability, long-term, to have greater impact. Working with other stakeholders allows different skill sets and ideas to be brought to bear on a problem. It allows you to operate at different levels of the system. Working with others also enables you to challenge your own preconceived ideas. So bring in people who challenge your perception on what is happening. Don't just pick the people you usually work with. Working in this way takes time and good facilitation, but it can lead to changes in power dynamics and structural change. To make this succeed, we have to work differently. This requires us to learn how to fail quickly, safely and purposefully, and let go of preconceived ideas. This means loosening our control over things, to be prepared to adapt as things go along. Our role then is to create space and opportunities for local stakeholders to design solutions. To find out more, take a look at the systems thinking guide that accompanies this animation. It'll give you more ideas, examples, and links to other resources.